Okay, a little update on the sleeper Z. I managed to get the VQ35DE into the engine bay. I made all my made my own engine mounts as you saw in previous updates. They bolt through the frame rail. And like I said, the I used two right side engine mounts to clear that steering shaft. And I mounted the engine a little further forward than the than my engine. Just to clear the AC lines. As you can see there. Give a little more space. Set the whole engine about three quarters of an inch further forward than my engine. Um, which is negligible on weight distribution. And on this side, now I can get an angle on it. That way you can see it. Other side, I'm trying to get you can't really see it from this angle, but there's the notch I kind of cut out of the subframe. The subframe requires a notch to clear the alternator, and you can see the clearance on the front of the motor there between the subframe. see that from this angle as you can see there it's through bolted through the subframe and you can see the space in between the firewall and the crossover pipe right there and the heater heater hoses come out there and turn plenty of space for that the fuel pressure regulator I mounted to the engine this time instead of to the firewall the firewall will have the fuel filter mounted to it beside the battery um, that way it has access to service fuel filter pretty easily. And of course, the stock, everything along the fender well, including the charcoal can, help with vapors. And that's pretty much it about the engine and the transmission. I use the Apex Engineering. Transmission mount. What do you see because of the lighting? This thing won't adjust for the lighting or not. Let's see if I can get some extra lighting here. So you can see there, put the Apex Engineering transmission cross cross member. With the urethane mount, has a little nice little cutouts there for the exhaust. That way, I can run the dual exhaust through either side and mount the Borla center muffler in to help with sound control. And of course, this the apex mount goes all the way from. Well, I guess I should explain this one. The 240Z has the fuel lines and the brake lines run through the transmission tunnel. But the 280Z, when you use the apex mount, require a spacer and to kind of shove it in between the brake line and the fuel lines. 
there that way you can get the uneven floor pan get it to bolt down evenly and not crush the fuel lines or the brake lines I used a 7 16 spacer which set it away from the lines enough and I used the the factory insulator in in there that way I don't know whether you can see oh, yeah can't get the can't get my light to cooperate with me but anyway and see the outer part of the cross member bolts on the other side of the frame to give it support so it basically runs from here all the way across to the other side to tie the whole ch middle of the chassis together which worked pretty well I think but just the fitment between the 280Z and the 240Z is a little more complicated but it works but anyway um, I put in the gauges the speed hut four and a half inch gauges where you see I don't have the battery in right now so you really can't see what's what but just of it two and five eighths center gauges the volt water and oil that way you see the main information and of course retains factory AC and heater controls GK Tech shifter this sits a little higher just a hair higher than stock about an inch and a half higher than stock but the relocation allowed it to to be in the same shifter hole as OEM so there's no major cutting or major movement or placement of the shifter other, other than an inch and a half higher than stock and the movement is a lot shorter than the stock of course but that's a good thing um what else and of course the next step will be to modify the VQ35DE harness and this harness has the hold on a second let me get the light cut off here this harness has it's a 04 and a half so it has the factory six pin wide band sensors um, what else I'm going to clean all this crappy loom off and get it all straightened back out and clean it up and get all what all the ne unnecessary stuff out because the charging system and all of some of the accessories and will not be associated with this swap so but anyway I'll cover that in another video uh, but anyway that's a little update for you and that's it <laughs>